Hello Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. I'm back! Well, almost back. <laughs> I know I've been having quite a bit of a long break but um, I should be getting back into the swing of things now. I've been busy doing a lot of things around the house and garden and as you can see I don't have my green screen up. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother putting that back up to be honest but uh, we'll see. Anyway, getting to the point of this art, uh, video Probably going to mention the word point quite a lot as well in this video. This is specifically focusing on the new target Swiss points. I'm not going to talk about the darts that they come with because I'm going to do them in a separate review. So just ignore the, the barrel for now and I'm just going to specifically focus on the point. And you've already seen the uh, launch videos and the pictures and things like that on social media. and. Target phoned me last week and asked me what I thought about the launch and specifically what I thought about the new points. And I said I wasn't really that impressed because it's not a new idea. Interchangeable points have been out for a long time. I've got lots of old vintage darts that have got different uh, interchangeable point systems. So the idea itself isn't anything new, but what Target have uh, patented is the actual way the point fits into the barrel and the way it's machined. Talk about that when I show you a close up. Um, but they told me that they've been developing this point for three years, which I thought seemed quite a long time for what is just a point. But when they explained why, it made sense. It's gone through a lot of trial and error because the point would keep on coming loose. Uh, and they didn't want the point to come loose at all and they're adamant that they finally cracked it and it will not come loose. That remains to be seen. Um, I've tried it with just my fingers to unloosen it and I can't, so I might be right. But it's kind of hard to get excited about a point. So obviously Target have brought the tart, the tart, the, da the dart out with a special uh, unique grip and fancy design so that kind of gives notice to the new point system. If it was just a straight barrel ring grip dart, probably wouldn't uh, get much notice. And it's come out in a specific range, but it's also on the new uh, Taylor Gen 6 darts, and they're a very nice looking dart too. And they've also given this uh, Swiss points to all the players in a set of their own darts. So it may come out in player models as well and depending on how things go obviously they'll come out with the Swiss point in, in all the other ranges and if you read on the website they're hoping that it'll become a standard point system so I guess that means it, it will end up in all their ranges but I also think it means that they're going to hope that it becomes a universal point system so it'll be used by other manufacturers. Personally I have reservations that's going to happen because if Target uh, patented this system then that surely means that they're going to have to license it to other manufacturers and that would mean that they'd have to pay extra money and they'd also have to pay extra for tooling and machining and that would mean that the darts would cost more towards the customer so probably not a good idea but on the other hand, if the system became universal, maybe that would make it cheaper as well. I don't really know. It's all things that are pie in the sky at the moment because it's just totally new. So, who's going to use this system? Well, personally I don't think it's for me because I don't really change points that much. I'm quite happy with a plain black cord 28 to 30 millimeter point. But um, there's so many variety of points out now that some people just change the points just the same way that we change stems. They like to customise the darts, make them look a particular way. So that's one market. And the other market is people who do want a point changing but are not confident in using a repointer. Um, they might think this is a good system for them because it's quick and easy. So I understand that one as well. And also, uh, people that like to use grippy points, but they might not want to use grippy points on the home board because it tends to pull the fibres out of the board. 
and if they're in a match they could switch from a smooth point to a grippy point again. I appreciate the idea behind that but the only thing is how big is the market for those uh, kind of people. I don't know if it's that big but obviously Target think it probably is so I guess it remains to be seen but I'd like you to post in the comments what you think. Do you think it's a system that you're going to use? Do you think it's a good idea or do you think it's um, a bit of over engineering to a problem that doesn't really need fixing? Let me know in the comments and like I say I'm going to review the darts separately but for now we'll just have a close look at the points. So I'll just give you a quick close look at the points then. Um, obviously I'm going to do the barrel review in another one so stop focusing on that and just focus on the point. <laughs> anyway as you can see the point has got a little groove there and that's in case the point breaks it'll snap at that point presumably which means that you'll still be able to take this part of the point out but I don't know what happens if it does happen to snap right at the nose how you would get it out then I don't know but as you can see it's kind of a hexagonal shape and the tool is the same shape so obviously just fits in like that and I think I'm tightening it there yeah so righty tighty lefty loosey and that's basically it it's a very fine thread and a taper and supposedly that is what's keeping it tight inside the barrel you won't be able to see much inside there I don't think and in case anyone's wondering you can't put uh, normal points in there not really much else to say about it it goes in and out nice and easy right so I've done it by finger there and I'll see if I can get it as tight as possible by finger that's as tight as I can do it so can I undo it yeah so I just do it by finger tight I can still undo the point and that's as tight as I can get it so it only goes a little bit further when using the tool but now yeah. see if I can get it out of my teeth I think I just uh, broke part of me in two. <laughs> oh, you can see that. That was a bad idea. I've chipped the bottom of my tooth. There. That is a piece of my tooth. It just come off. So, whatever you do, don't try, <laughs> try doing it with your teeth. <laughs> so, I can't undo it with my teeth. Uh, so it does stay on very tight but whether it'll come loose during normal use remains to be seen but when it's on tight you wouldn't think it was a screw and ball point it just feels as if it's part of the barrel so there you go right remember leave your comments below what you think about this system and look out for the review of this very nice looking dart.